problem now is future peace. That is your job in Germany. By your conduct and attitude while on guard inside Germany, you can lay the groundwork of a peace that could last forever. Or just the opposite. You could lay the groundwork for a new war to come. And just as American soldiers had to do this job 26 years ago, so other American soldiers, your sons, might have to do it again another 20 odd years from now. Germany today appears to be beaten. Hitler, out. Swastikas, gone. Nazi propaganda, off the air. Concentration camps, empty. You'll see ruins. You'll see flowers. You'll see some mighty pretty scenery. Don't let it fool you. You are in enemy country. Be alert, suspicious of everyone. Take no chances. You are up against something more than tourist scenery. You are up against German history. It isn't good. This book was written chapter by chapter, not by one man, not by one Führer. It was written by the German people. Chapter one, the Führer, Bismarck. The title, Blood and Iron. The armies, German. Under the Prussian Bismarck, the German empire was built. The German states combined, serving notice to all that their religion was iron, that their god was blood. Bismarck's German empire built itself by war, at the expense of Denmark, Austria, and France, and became in 1871 the mightiest military power in all Europe. Enough conquest for a while. Time out to digest it. Europe relaxes. The danger's over. Nice country, Germany. Tender people, the Germans. And very sweet music indeed. Chapter two. A new Führer, Kaiser Wilhelm. New title, Deutschland über alles. Germany over all. And the same tender German people smacked us with their World War I against Serbia, Russia, France, Belgium, Italy, Britain. United States of America. It took all of us to do it, but we finally knocked that Führer out, defeated the German armies. Second chapter ended. We marched straight into Germany and said, why these people are okay. It was just that Kaiser we had to get rid of. You know, this is really some country. When it comes to culture, they lead the whole world. We bit, we poured in our sympathy, we pulled out our armies, and they flung chapter three in our faces. Führer number three, slogan number three. Today, Germany is ours. Tomorrow, the whole world. And the tender, repentant, sorry German people carried the torch of their culture to Austria, Czechoslovakia, Poland, France, England, Norway, Holland, Denmark, Belgium, Luxembourg, Russia, Yugoslavia, Greece, the United States of America. Over the shattered homes, over the broken bodies of millions of people who had let down their guard. We almost lost this one. It took everything we had.
measure the cost in money? There isn't that much money. Measure the cost in lives? We can only guess at that figure. It took burning and scalding, drenching, freezing. It took legs, fingers, arms, and it took them by the millions. It cost hours, days, and years that will never return. We threw in our help, our wealth, our past and our future. It took every last ounce of our courage and guts. Now what happens? Oh hell, this is where we came in. Yeah. This is where we came in. And chapter four? Could be. It can happen again. <laughs>